Our global quest for barrels has allowed us to meet some incredible people, experience warm hospitality and build lasting friendships with like-minded individuals who share our passion for the ocean. As we've shared the barrel movie with audiences around the world, more often than not it's the segment with Baptiste Gasson is one that really strikes a chord. We'd like to share this segment of the film with you and the inspiring perspective Baptiste has on life, his love for surfing and chopu, the wave that cost him so much. This man is a true inspiration and we can all take a lesson from his experience and attitude. I'm Baptiste Gossin, I'm 33 years old. I'm from France and uh, I moved in Hawaii when I was like 20. For almost 10 years, you know, I, I became a pro windsurfer. And uh, after I moved here, like uh, almost four or five years ago, the, the attraction for the place is the barrel, of course, you know, because pretty much every single wave around here are barreling, you know, due to like shallow water and shallow reef. Yeah, Chopo, I guess, was discovered by uh, Timothy Ferreri, you know, and his brother. And uh, as they told me, they started to surf it in 1982, which is like over 30 years ago, which is crazy, you know. And uh, yeah, I think for so many years they were by themselves, you know. He was always like, hey, please come surf with me. But no one really wanted to, to go surf, you know. In 2009, actually, uh, I was surfing Chopo, and it was not that big, maybe like four to six foot range, you know. And uh, that day was super west, you know. Like I said earlier, when it's west, it's very dangerous, you know. And I cut a couple good waves, and I, at first I broke my leash first, first wave, you know, and I got another leash, so I went back out. And um, I told my friend, ah, it's a good day to get hurt, you know, because they are so, so powerful and, and shallow, you know. And uh, I was going to go back to the boat. I saw my friend with a broken board, and I'm like, ah, I just want the last one, you know. And uh, yeah, I took off, and I, I don't know why, I just like fell after my takeoff. And I, I went over like head first, you know. And uh, I knew it was shallow. I, I was like, oh, I, I'm dead, you know. And I don't know, after I just passed out and the wave just like hit me and I, I broke a vertebra. And since then I'm a paraplegic, you know. But uh, yeah, I, I still love Chopo, you know, even so I'm in the wheelchair right now. I still enjoy Chopo and uh, yeah, I, I love the wave. So after my accident, I went almost for one year in France to the clinic and everything. And as soon as I get back, you know, I, like first swell, you know, like Remana gave me a call. Hey, that is, you feel like driving me for towing, you know? I'm like, sure, you know, like, and yeah, since then I'm just driving him every swell, you know, like, and it's been so fun to be back in the lineup, you know? Even so, sometimes I would love to grab the rope, you know, but. It's still fun to, to be driving the ski around, give him some of the best wave, you know, like, it's just a pleasure to see people happy, you know, when he kicks out and he has a big smile and, and yeah, it's just exciting, you know. Yeah, of course, you know, like, I could be like, oh, I don't want to do anything with it anymore, you know, I hate that wave, but no. I love it so much and I, every time I see a big swell coming, I'm excited, you know, I have butterfly and everything, but yeah, if, it's, it's a game, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, you know. From the day that I came to this place, you know what, you nothing anyway. I stood my ground and came to find that I had we look forward to bringing you more barrels from around the world and hope that you'll join us for the ride at surfthebarrel.com. Aloha until next time. <laughs>